What is going on guys not far from gaming here or Jacob and we are back once again playing some more Clash Royale and today guys I hope you are having a fantastic day because for some reason I'm just feeling pumped and I do feel a little bit sick still so uh, Bear with me. All right, just bear with me uh, but today's shout out goes to boom right there under me right there literally right there because they were the first one to find grandpa Flug life congratulations on your shout out but uh, if you guys want to shout out all you have to do is find him first in the next video or in this video whatever it is and if you're the first one to comment it in the comment section you get a shout out so today we're going to be pushing a lot of you guys wanted me to push again so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be using the expo deck my, one of my favorite expo decks next i'm going to be doing a probably like a golem deck like right after we play one match we're going to switch it up because i feel like it gets a little bit boring just watching the same deck so let's just not waste any time here and hop into a battle uh so we are going up against Eversh. uh hopefully we don't take any l's we did take one last game or last uh episode video whatever you want to call it and that was pretty unfortunate but it's whatever everyone loses right oh i didn't want that to happen okay normally you want the miner just to get onto the tower so that you can take it out quicker uh so he's gonna go knight over there oh oh no okay so he's got probably like a i hope he doesn't have the furnace that's my only like hope that's all i care about no furnace please so let's go fire spirits over there because we really don't have anything let's go inferno tower right there that's going to take both of those out that is actually a really good play right there um going to take both of those out and we could get the expo up on the left side so that if he plays something uh it'll get taken out hopefully because it, it'll be close enough to get taken out all right so uh royal giant i'm literally toast nice 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 so all i wanted to verse today was a royal giant Okay, so he got one hit on the tower. That was actually really well played, but he does have the Royal Giant. I mean, that's awful. That's actually terrible. And he's got the Valkyrie and the Knight. So he can literally tank my Expo all day. So we might have to try to draw this, but I'm still going to try to win. Obviously, I don't want to draw. Uh, so we're going to go Expo over here since he has damage already over there. Uh, and we don't have anything if he plays his Valkyrie. Okay, so we can go like this. Jump. Okay, so he's going to actually waste a ton of elixir right there, just taking that out. Let's go like this. And, um... Alright, so that really wasn't that bad played, but we still have not touched a tower yet. But we know he has the Royal Giant, so we can actually play, um... Pretty well right here, if we play our cards right, I guess. So let's go... I don't want to go Expo right away. I want to make him drop something first. Hopefully he doesn't have anything... Okay... Let's go with an Expo. I don't like doing that because he's going to drop the Royal Giant right away. No, he's not. Okay. Now he is. But we do have our uh, Inferno Tower, so that's good. Let's go like this, and we're going to drop it right here. This is probably like one of the best spots you can drop it. Um, because watch. I mean, he has to hit it, obviously. Let's go. Obviously, you don't want to log it back because then um, it won't be targeted onto it anymore. So we're going to take that out. We're going to actually log this back uh, for that Fire Spear and the Wizard right there. So uh, we're going to switch towers now. That's the beauty of the Expo. You can literally just switch towers and uh, make him drop the Royal Giant over there. So that's one way to play it, I guess, to just to tie it out if we really have to. Which is most likely what we're going to have to do because I don't see us coming back from this right here. Um, but our Expo did take a good chunk of it out right there. So we're actually going to play this one in the middle because I think he's going to go with a push on the right side if I don't... Um, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and fireball this. We'll go ahead and go like that. And we'll get a log going as well. And our lecture wizard. So, um, basically we're trying to get as the least amount of damage as we can on our tower right now. Because we only have to survive for 30 seconds. And uh, I'm really good at doing this. Just like stalling the match out. Uh, so he literally has like no, he can't win. Yeah, he's just going to put that up right there. Let's go ahead and laugh back at him because... We made him lose, or not lose, but we tied it out. Um, good game, I guess. Let's just go ahead and keep throwing stuff out. Let's go ahead and log the miner. Just oh nuts! We gotta fireball this tower now. That's the ultimate BM. Just fireballing the tower. Boom! There we go. Good game. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into another one. Obviously, that was just some friendly BM. Nothing, nothing against Eversh. 
or whatever his name is for using the Royal Jive. But we're going to hop into another one. Hopefully we can push up some more because we haven't pushed up yet at all. Army Legend. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so let's go with... Uh, should we go Aggressive Expo? Um, I don't really like playing the Expo first because I don't know what he has. Uh, okay, I guess I'm dropping it. My finger slipped, but I guess I'm dropping it now. Let's go ahead and fireball this. Elite Barbs, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, he just wasted a ton of elixir. And all we have to do is to defend this is go like this. Are you serious? This guy's a level 10. He's got max elite barbarians and a level 6 executioner. That is not a level 10, guys. That is literally not a level 10. He probably has the royal giant too, which just tops it off the most. Like, he probably has a max royal giant. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he either... He either... That's all he does is just upgrade one card or... He... Gems, I guess. I mean, that's the only explanation for it. Oh, buddy. Come on. Oh, yes. We're going to get some damage. Nice. Okay. So that wizard was actually scaring me for a second. Let's go ahead and log this, though. Oh, gosh. That was close. So we're going to get this down to about 1,528 left. Uh, so he's got a Sparky Elite Barbarian deck, and I have to pay attention. I can't really look up a lot because if he goes with those Elite Barbs, I'm pretty much toast. So uh, we have to really pay attention here. So let's go with an Expo, and then we'll play the uh, Fire Spirits right here for his Elite Barbs. Oh, he's not going to go Elite Barbs. Okay. He's going to really go all out, though, uh, with a Miner and Executioner. So I think I'm fine with that. He definitely wasted a ton of Elixir. Uh, and I think at this point, I, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this guy is really just trying to draw it out. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. He just played a pretty aggressive minion horde, if you ask me. Let's go with an Ice Spirit. Let's go over here. Oh, so that is going to connect right there. Nice. Okay, so all we have to do is play the... Uh, we'll go like this. Don't you dare shoot. Don't you dare shoot. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? He literally just took that out. Are you serious? Okay, so we already took one tower out though. Uh, so it's kind of even right now, obviously. So let's go our Inferno Tower right there. I think he's going to go all out right here. So what we're going to do is go Fireball. Uh, let's just let that do whatever it's doing right there. Not much. Uh, don't take it out. No. Let's just uh, go Zap basically what we have to do just uh sacrifice let's go like this like this yeah so this is probably gonna be a tie as well um, i'm not really sure that was really well played by him i guess i mean it's kind of unfortunate how he has the uh whatever it's called the um elite barbs maxed out kind of dumb if you ask me but it's whatever. I mean, he's a level 10 with, like, higher cards than me. I mean, what do you expect, honestly? Let's go like this, and we'll go ahead and just log this back right here. We'll go, uh, like that. Dude, he's got a level 13 minion horde, too. I just noticed that. Literally nothing I can do, though, because if I just place the expo down, he's gonna place his elite barbs. So, you can say I suck if you want for not beating a level 10, but his cards are better than mine, uh, so... Look at that. He's got a level 10 uh, wizard too. So let's just hit him with a thumbs up because, you know, gemmers for life. Woo. What I was trying to say though at that last part is that dude was literally like an insanely leveled. You guys, you guys have faced him before. Those insane max under level people like they're a level 10 with maxed out cards. That's, that's so dumb. That's not how the game should be. And this guy's got a level 7 prince already. Are you kidding me? Let's go like this and we'll log it back as well. Really didn't have to do that, but um, I think that was okay. I think that's fine. Let's go Expo right here. Uh, just to see what he has. Put some pressure on. He dropped something. Uh, okay, that was dumb. Let's go ahead and fireball all this. Pop, 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 pop. Take those goblins out. Take them out. Take them out. Let's go Ice Spirit right here for whatever he's going to drop. Oh, we're going to connect right there. Let's go Skeletons. Oh, boy, that's not good. Let's go Log in. I missed the Log. Nice. Nice. Let's go fire spirits right here. 
Okay, so uh, he did more damage than me because I suck and I cannot hit a log to save my life, just like a rocket uh, with Chief Pat. Shots fired, but uh, let's go. Let's see. Let's just take it. Let's just just wait a second. So he's gonna go with another one right here. Let's go Electro Wizard. We'll take a different approach. What? How did he do that much damage? He didn't connect with the prince, did he? I don't think he did. There's no way he did. Uh, so let's go... Really? Really? Oh my gosh, okay, so that was actually not bad played at all. On his point. Let's go Inferno Tower though, we're gonna play it the same way we did the first time. And he's gonna fireball that, but he's gonna miss the Ice Spirit, so that's good for us. Let's go ahead and place the Expo down right here, and we're gonna go Fireball, Fire Spirits. And we'll log this back as well. And that bomber's literally just gonna sit there and take my expo out all by itself. Nice. Let's go with another Inferno Tower. Skeletons over here. We'll go like this. Like this. Oh, come on. Come on, get there. Get there. No, take it out. Take it out. No. Okay, I think we can fireball that, actually. We can fireball it. Oh, we're going to get a W. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, right there. There it is. So that was actually a really interesting deck. I'm not going to lie. He had the Prince and the Archers. Obviously, you guys saw it. Not very many people use the Prince, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, a cool Mario. I apologize. You know what? Let's just throw it in there, guys. Let's just go battle. I'll be back in a second. That was actually the best ending ever, guys. They were BMing us the entire time. <laughs> um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize. I should have put that match in there. Actually, I'll probably throw bits of it. Maybe I'll just throw a speed, sped up version. Uh, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. We are at 35.58. So if you guys want to see me push to 4,400 in the next video, let me know down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.